the plan for he and Argentina. This is where their World Cup challenge will end on December 18th. But first things first, Argentina begins Group C play against Saudi Arabia. As we say, come on in Canada. Good morning. Uh, if you're staying up or just getting up, welcome to day three of the FIFA World Cup on TSN. I'm Kelsey Braid along. So far in Qatar, Argentina and Saudi Arabia have had to watch and wait as others have taken center stage. Now the spotlight shines brightly upon them. There is a feeling in South America that Argentina are peaking at just the right time with this tournament now in sharp focus. A mammoth unbeaten run, a Copa America title for the first time in nearly three decades, and a fearless of victory to boot. Carlos Van Bokel of the Netherlands will lead the team after Echelli of Algeria will be keeping an eye on offsides throughout. Football for these two nations. Of supporters loud and proud and hopeful. Pongo Gomez. Messi. Argentina just starting to take a stranglehold. And the challenge on Rodrigo de Paul brings another. There's Messi. The goalkeeper had to come and take charge, and he did. It is penalty for an early lead. Lionel Messi, always centre stage, often seen with silverware, but this is the trophy he really wants to win. And he gets Argentina off to a terrific start. in by Alfarage he's won that's a testing attack potentially that to help them on Martinez off target and deemed offside in back four I can't help but think that set pieces are going to be important for Messi trying to get through undetected goalkeeper's decided to stay at home the celebrations and the strike has power but not quite an effect all picked off by Alfarage and then on the stretch Argentina once again striding on and through the hill once again Gorkiba comes to meet him it's a sumptuous finish Rataro Martinez continues his rich vein of goal scoring form in Argentina colours. That's why they're one of the favourites for the. There is always a check and a pause as a result. And it's not going to count, you know. Your heart. Albrecht waiting for the ball to. Lovely bit of footwork to draw the challenge. Dalsby in towards Martinez, far too close to the man with the gloves. We are unable to reel the ball in. Dalsby tucks through to Martinez again, and once again he has the composure and the finish. And once again the flag is raised. And that was a pretty obvious one to most people in the stadium. Hooked on by Almalki. Strong and important header away by Romero. No to slow them down. Adversary stretching out to try. Di Maria. Messi. He's tried to gather possession. He was watched closely by Abdul Hamid. 
Saudi Arabia not tracking runners, that was remote. And mark his challenge. It's to aim for here. Run from Messi. Plenty arriving. DePaul will hit it. And got it all wrong. Chia. Neatly done. Options waiting. Trying to find a way across. There were no takers in the middle. And on they go swiftly. Adarsalu going down. Some optimistic appeals. Five added minutes at the end of this half. Paredes. Di Maria trying to slip in behind. And, if the and they have the lead as a result of that. A penalty gifted to them by an off-the-ball grab. Aldo who will be looking for a goal at a fifth World Cup Finals when his Portugal side start against Ghana in two days' time. But they've worked the ball to al Sherry, who's got a shot on target and scored for Saudi Arabia! What a magic moment for the fans from the Middle East! The increase in movement and volume amongst those wearing green inside this state. Argentina defence after another bit of sloppiness. Abdul Hamid is back on his feet after a momentary slip. And Tagliafico difficult to contain. Aldassari! Oh my word! Who saw this coming? Seen any goals and the favourites for the tournament or one of them? Messi helping it on. Mataro Martinez returning it back to Messi. That's a brilliant intervention. Al Tambakti has celebrated that as if he has scored. And they've gifted it straight back towards the substitute Alibi. His effort is repelled. But Sad Enzo Fernandez and Julian Alvarez also coming on. Paredes Di Maria bending one. Taro Martinez diving towards it and he wasn't too far away from connecting. What a ball that was. Not even look at that change. Here's Lautaro Martinez. And Altan Bakti has gone down. Well, you do have to say he's poor defending right down the middle of the pitch. And when the... He cycled well and it comes through to one of the substitutes. That's a brilliant save. And Lissandro Martinez has been denied in athletic fashion. Rodrigo de Paul, Di Maria. So Fernandez flashing it through the six yard box and Antonio Fico wants it played down this left side. Fabrizio Abuka is back again. Now Tara Martinez, goalkeeper's come miles out and did well. Immediately surrounded but finding a really good pass. And it's well stopped by the goalkeeper. Otherwise, it was never really too much two minutes to go. Di Maria, and the ball bent into that penalty area, another one which didn't mean a steam forward with Di Maria. Messi clipping it into an area which no one is going into, there was a collision on the edge of the box and Messi's been given. Is this the first part of the rescue act? No, nope. 